Wow, O365 is really something. I think you can do quite a lot with it, if you know how to use it. Very true. Take a look at this chart. It offers an overview of all the different O365 apps. Wow, that's a lot. True. Each app provides a variety of useful functions. Do you know all of these individual apps? Not all of them. I am seeing some of them for the first time. Which apps are new to you? Teams, for instance. What is that app used for? Teams is a unified communications platform that combines persistent workplace chat, video meetings, file storage, including collaboration on files and application integration. One of the core features of Teams is the group chat, which serves as the basis for transparent collaboration within working groups. Each newly created team comes with, by default, a conversation tab, a SharePoint file library, and a wiki. Whether used in small or large-scale projects or department functions, Teams helps to make the cooperation with colleagues more convenient and efficient. I see. And what about the Yammer app? That's also a communication platform, isn't it? You're right, it is. Yammer is primarily used to promote more interaction and a greater sense of cohesion within the company as a whole. Yammer serves as a kind of bulletin board where all company employees can post relevant documents, interesting article links, and personal status updates. Good. Now I understand the distinction between Teams and Yammer. What about the Planner app? What is that used for? With Planner, you can better structure project plans by creating task categories. Within each task, you can also add descriptions and checklists, then assign the individual tasks to the appropriate team members. The best part, you can integrate Planner directly into Teams, which makes the planning process even easier. Task progress can always be discussed directly in the Teams chat. That sounds like an especially useful app. I can only agree with you there. Do you have any other questions about the apps? Yes, one last question. When is it especially helpful to use SharePoint? SharePoint is a cloud-based document management platform. With SharePoint, you can create and collectively edit document libraries, intranet websites, pages, and lists. These files are stored in the cloud, so everyone within the team can make changes in a secure environment. You also should know that all documents that are listed in the File tab of Teams are stored in SharePoint. Well, I hope I was able to shed some light on the possible ways that O365 apps can support you in your daily work. Absolutely. Your descriptions were very helpful. But where can I find additional information if I have questions later on? If you still have questions about the apps, you can visit the following website for more information. In addition, one very important thing to keep in mind, the way a team structures their work virtually should not be determined by the standard usage O365 apps. It's not just about the tools available, it's about how you use them. Let a digital native tell you. Of course. However, in order to make decisions about how to best utilize the apps, Everyone in the team needs to first understand which practical features each app offers. Only then can they know which apps make sense for specific working processes, correct? I couldn't agree with you more. Maybe you have some concrete examples in mind to illustrate. Yes, I do. For example, what happens when there is a scheduling conflict? Let's say, for instance, that I cannot participate in a regular weekly meeting because I have to join another more important appointment. How can I subsequently access the key information discussed in the weekly meeting? That's no problem. If the weekly meeting takes place in Teams, your colleagues can simply record the session and publish it in the Stream app. Then you can watch the weekly meeting when you get the chance, for instance, on the train ride home. Your team members also have the option of documenting the key points of the meeting directly in OneNote and access relevant PowerPoint, Word, and Excel files stored in Teams. All right, so I can plan and conduct virtual web sessions in Teams. Are there any advantages to using Teams rather than using Skype, for instance? 
Both Teams and Skype are useful mediums for online communication within companies. Both include a group chat function and allow users to make video calls. Teams offers users a few additional advantages by functioning as a central control and organizational platform for the integrated office apps, such as OneNote, Planner, SharePoint, and PowerPoint. Teams is thus the most fitting collaboration tool for the complex digital working environments of today. A different scenario. My workspace is completely chaotic. Post-its and notes are lying all over my desk. Can O365 help me get my sticky notes under control? Yes, it can. With the To-Do app, you can easily record, sort, and review your daily tasks. You can also set due dates for tasks and even receive emails that remind you to complete them on time. I often use public transportation to commute to and from the office. Can I check my emails or my conversations in Teams from my tablet or smartphone? Can I set appointments while on the go? Yes, of course. Download the Outlook and Teams app to your tablet or smartphone. With those apps, you can check your emails and make appointments from anywhere. A related question. Can I and my team members simultaneously edit a file in Word, PowerPoint, or Excel? And can we collaborate from different locations? Sure. Just create a shared folder for the document on SharePoint or share a folder via OneDrive. Then you only have to send an invitation to your colleagues to give them editing rights. Now you can see who is making which changes to the document in real time. Sharing your document with colleagues on OneDrive or SharePoint prevents you from having to save multiple versions of a document and attach them to emails. In addition, it allows you to track the changes much more easily. If you ever need the old versions of the document at some point, you can simply restore them. I am currently working on a large project. How can I assign tasks to individual team members more effectively? And how can my team members share details with each other in a more organized manner? You can easily and efficiently assign project tasks and associated checklists via the Planner app. Any additional notes and documents related to these tasks can be shared via OneNote for others in the team to comment on or edit. This way, everyone is up to date and has all the necessary project information at their fingertips. I grew up using various social media platforms. What other ways can I communicate with team members apart from sending them emails? You mentioned Yammer earlier. Yes, you have several options for communicating with colleagues in O365. To get quick answers to spontaneous or urgent questions, you can write short messages to colleagues via the Teams chat. You can also start a Teams conversation in a specific channel by using the at symbol to tag a team member, which automatically creates an entry in that person's activity feed. This will reduce the number of emails and make communication much more transparent. On Yammer, you can network with colleagues, keep yourself informed about current events within your company, and tag people to draw their attention to informative posts. This has been a very insightful conversation. Many thanks for the inspiring ideas and helpful tips. My pleasure. If you want to find out how you can systematically determine which individual O365 apps are most appropriate for your daily needs, be sure to watch the next video.